doing? Yeah, we're fixing to do some work. But I'm just going to tell you all, there's something that I do collect and I do like, and I've got a few of these. But um, if you're just looking at something to send old uh, tow wrecker, I collect church keys. Yeah, if you never heard this called a church key, ask your grandpa or your daddy why they call them a church key. But anyway, as you can tell, it's my antique Paps Blue Ribbon church key. Yep, we're going to crack us a... I used to be able to do this. I doubt I still can. I used to be able to actually open it with one, open one with one hand. Ah, uh, it didn't work. It didn't do what I wanted it to. Of course, this ain't a beer bottle either. I used to be able to open a beer, kick it sideways, and with one hand, pop the lid off and stand it back up and still have the bottle opener and everything in my hand. But this bottle's totally different, a beer bottle. But anyway, you get the point. If I had a, had a way of holding the camera. Wait a minute, here, why not? Who didn't say they ever wanted to watch a Pepsi bottle opened? There we go. Liquid refreshment. Yummy. But anyway, like I said, I like church keys. Send me a church key. Yeah. See y'all. Have you ever really just wanted to kick somebody's ass? Somebody you've never met and you don't even know? It could be a cute chick for all you know. Have you ever just wanted to just beat them into the damn ground? Well, look at this shit. I've been chiseling for an hour trying to get this crap off. I think I'm just going to sandblast the damn things and get the rest of it off. Not real sure what I'm going to do yet. But anyway, all I can say is, don't think it's silicone. I think it's linoleum glue. I'm not even shitting you. I think it's linoleum glue. If it ain't, it's something close to it. Because it sure as hell ain't silicone. I don't know what it is. It's rock hard and gooey. Just some nasty shit. But anyway, at least they didn't build the engine. Mr. GM built the engine, so at least we're in good shape there. <laughs> anyway, I've had enough of shit for now. See y'all. Well, you're going to have to forgive that loud-ass air compressor, but anyway, we're going to clean up these valve covers. Uh, there's so much crap on them, and I don't want to fool with them, so we're sandblasting. And it shouldn't take long. The only thing is, I have to come back to you because my dumb ass forgot my safety glasses. Okay, we're back. See, I got my safety glasses. These are my scratched up ones anyway. So. Messy endeavor. Hope you can see.
got them down far enough to where they'll paint and look nice. That'd be all that black off. I don't know. I'll get some more of it off eventually. But we're getting there. That's what matters. And before somebody says this, I've got enough sense to wash these important purple power and pressure wash the living sod out of them and make sure that there is nothing, no sand in this darn bathroom. I've got enough sense not to do that, so don't somebody say, you're gonna get sand in your engine, you're gonna learn it. You're not gonna learn it. I wouldn't wanna sand, I wouldn't want to sandblast an engine block, even though they are sand cast, and when they tank them, you still get the sand running around, but still yet. I wouldn't sandblast an engine block, and sheet metal, as long as you wash it afterwards, you're good. But you gotta be careful with that whole washing. You gotta wash it and blow it off the compressed air, and this stuff will rust in a heartbeat. in my air from it so I believe I'm gonna dig up my little air dryer and put it on there but anyway you get the point works pretty good for a cheapy and playground sand okay we got that and over completely done I've got this in about half I'm gonna give the air compressor a break so let's go do something else for a little while 